Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here back with another Madden 21 video. In today's episode, I'm bringing you live audio. So yes, this is not pre-recorded or I mean post-recorded is what I should say, but we have two breakout challenges today. Please don't tell me this is Glenn Parker. This is Matthew Godwin. Okay, thank God. Uh, because he was great. He had a pick six last, last week, and we need to hold the Eagles to less than 100 rushing yards. Revert Matthew Godwin, an INT, a forced fumble, tackle for a loss, or a sack. He does that literally almost every game, one of those things. So I think we should be able to get him to star dev today. So that would be definitely pretty excited. Him and Tony Bynes have really been getting the only pressure. Again, Glenn Parker is god awful, no pun intended. Uh, but the other breakout challenge here is going to be Kevin Clifford. My my user i would love to have a dev up for him so clearly he's not a superstar x factor if he's getting that let's see this to less than 150 passing yards or get him two ints two forced fumbles two tackles for a loss or two sacks that is going to be really really hard actually but uh i'll try so i think this would be a superstar dev challenge I think it would be less than 100 yards if it was going to be an X Factor challenge. So I think Kevin Clifford only has star dev. So that is actually very interesting to see. But we have also some college players to scout. And I'm just going to continue to scout the top players that are available. I don't need halfback. I don't know why I scouted that. I don't need receiver. Left outside linebacker. I will do that. Right tackle. Yes. Middle linebacker. Yes. Defensive back. Yes. Center. Yeah. Uh, defensive back again. Don't need a wide receiver and outside linebacker. Okay, so not really that great of scouting today. And uh, if you hear my controller clicking, that's just how it is sometimes. I'm sorry. Uh, I always have to mention that because I'm assuming someone would always comment it uh, because that's just how it is. But I'm not going to even put a quarterback in my XP training for my simulation training right here because we still haven't figured out a quarterback situation yet. We're changing it every week, just like the Washington Redskins. They're not the football team. I'm not calling them that. Fenderson, I don't really like. He's not that great of a player. He's horrible. I mean, horrible in pass coverage, and he plays it all the time. I'm going to put him in pass coverage anyways, even though that's not his archetype. And plus two zone coverage, plus one man coverage. Cody Douglas, I really like, though. He's really fun to do. And his pass coverage is low, but in the game, it's actually pretty high. But I'm going to go to field general here for the scheme fit and that's the only purpose and tackle and zone coverage go up why not don't care chase samuels i do care about and i want strong arm to go up as he is a scheme fit now and strong arm is his arch archetype and he has plus two mid throw accuracy i wish it was a lot better than that uh will shields don't care about kevin clifford i do care about that is going to be my user and hybrid is what i will continue to go into for kevin clifford uh and he has plus one press, plus one man coverage, and plus three awareness. Okay. And we're, I'm just going to let the CPU upgrade the rest of this. But we're going to be facing off against the Philadelphia Eagles. And some of you guys actually told me to start tanking, which I don't like. I'm not going to admit, I don't like it when people start doing that. We're two and four. It still doesn't mean we can't go 12 and four or even nine and seven. Like, get your head out of the gutter, guys. As we finally have a green bar, and that's going to be on defense. By green bar, it means... The green little circle overall shape, kind of like Luke Sanford's little green thing right here, if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, Chase Samuels is going to be the starter. He seems to be the most accurate. Carter Wilson is the most frustrating quarterback I've ever dealt with in my entire life. And defensively, this is what the team looks like. Uh, Hayward has been playing okay. Sneed was playing great. He got a pick six last week. And overall, not a bad team. Not, not the worst team I've ever played with, except in quarterback terms. That was really frustrating. But... Today is the trade deadline, so we are going to be making some big boy trades here, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to get into that now, because there are some players that I would like to trade away, so other than that, I'm going to hop into that right now. So guys, here we are trading away Carter Wilson, finally he's off the team, and a fourth round pick for David Njoku, a tight end. I, I didn't really need it that much, but this is what I could get, defensive backs are really hard to get. But uh, I'll try to make another big boy trade here today, so I will definitely do that now. Guys, we are here trading away a first round pick, projected number 32, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. And number three over, not number three overall, the third round pick for Jonathan Jones. This is a massive, and I mean massive pickup for our defensive back group. So yeah, this is pretty exciting for the team, and let's just get back into it. 
So guys, this is the overlook of the team now, and for you guys thinking, oh, this is supposed to be an all-rookie all rookie team, it's not. Uh, Will Clapp is here, he's a go. I mean, he could be the one exception. Well, what did you think was gonna happen in the offseason during free agency? Did you really think I was just not going to get into free agency? No, of course I'm gonna get into free agency. But David Njoku, he would definitely be better than Firth, I would say, because Firth, Firth hasn't been bad, he's just been a little bit frustrating. Uh, I was trying to trade for Von Miller to replace Calvin Johnson here because he has gotten no pressure. I want to see his stats. He's done horrible. Uh, two tackles for a loss, which isn't bad, but max, which is what I want from him considering he's a speed rusher and an outside linebacker. So I was trying to trade for Von Miller. Didn't really work out, but Jonathan Jones is a massive upgrade to this team. I absolutely love to have him on this team because of that. So definitely, definitely huge for us, but we have two breakout challenges to get into. Def it's been definitely a huge, huge episode for us. So yeah, apart from that, we're going to get into this matchup against the Eagles, but first we have to look up, look into the roster. I'm sorry if this is taking a long time to do uh, this intro, I would say, or well, post-game. And I was thinking about getting Fletcher Cox, but it didn't really work out because he is younger and a higher overall. So they have Carson Wentz. I believe he's only start of now. Yes, he is. And halfback Miles Sanders is injured, so they have Antonio Gibson. Fullback is going to be Andrew Beck, uh, Jalen Rager, Alshon Jeffrey, and JJ Ar Arcega Whiteside. So, not really great in receivers. Tight end Dallas Goddard. Ooh, I could have gotten him as well, actually. That would he's pretty easy to trade for if I remember. I should have actually got him instead of David Njoku. But uh O-line is looking It's looking pretty solid. Definitely on the right side of the O-line looks amazing. Left end, Brandon Grams. Derek Barnett, Fletcher Cox, D-line is going to be a massive problem. Sean, Dion, Hamilton, Vince Williams, and uh, Hudson. I don't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his first name, but linebacking course sucks. Defensive backs, Darius Slay, Avante Maddox, and a really crappy rookie. Free safeties, McLondon Jr., and strong safety not that great safeties horrible linebackers horrible d-line looks great defensive backs is overall solid o-line looks pretty good quarterback not that great um overall an eh team so i i believe i'm pretty confident going into this one we should have beat the raiders last week but i'm not even gonna worry about that this is a thursday primetime game so let's just get into it and for maybe kershaw can get open there he is open kershaw's open and wow, whoa, whoa, what a pull down by Kershaw. Way to fight for that. That was kind of contested, but Kershaw got it, even though that was a design slip screen. Staley here. And that's open. Uh, get that go upfield. Kershaw, first down. Wow, Kershaw's really making plays so far, and I really tried it to trade him earlier for Jonathan Jones, and I'm glad I didn't. He's making plays. Uh, Bingham is an open, A is open, wide open. That's David Njoku, the new tight end, as we are going to get another first down, as we are moving the ball really well. Uh, so we're taking our field goal here. Did I shank that? No, I didn't. Okay, I was a little off the marker, but it's okay. We're going to go up three to nothing on our opening drive, and that is completely okay with me. I bought a lot, so I should kind of expect that. It slants, and of course they're going to get a first down. We really need to limit the passing yards. I want Kevin Clifford to get superstar development. Second and nine. We have containment here for Carson Wentz and a spy, apparently. And that's going to be wide open over the middle, of course. Well, it's not going to be wide open. He was kind of covered, but of course he got beat on that. Oh, we almost blocked the kick. Oh, that was so close. Why was Sneed running so slow? We could have blocked that. They're going to take three just barely as we completely cut the kicker. That should have been a foul, but it, it, it's okay, I guess. Oh, uh, was that... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Okay, I guess they missed the kick. I Okay, I guess that worked out perfectly for us. Out or out, Austin Woodson could be open deep here. And Dion Brown should be open. What was that cut? Whoa, Dion Brown made a play on the ball. Nice catch. Brown again. And Dion Brown is wide open over the middle. First down for Dion Brown. That was definitely the right call to do there. Chase Samuels is kind of on fire right now. He's doing. He's having a pretty good game risky i think i could definitely get sacked here i'm not going to x is open hit that thank you who is that gonna be is that firth as i was just talking crap about him firth is going to get the touchdown for us first career td reception and they're doing the bench press with the o-line this is a fun celebration i like this one 
on the run. And it is a run play. No, it's play action. I bid on it. Step back. And that's going to be wide open. Why are we playing so deep? I'm pretty sure we were playing cover four by accident. Still, that's going to be a first down for the Eagles. He could scramble. I doubt he will. And that's going to be... Ooh, a pick! A pick! Connor! Outside linebacker who was injured for most of the season. He's going to get a pick. That is very surprising. Connor is going to get a pick. That's... I don't know how else to say it. That was great. Great read. Threw right at him. Stick. And I might hit X right here. Okay, no, I'm going to get sacked instead. Everything was covered really, really well. Brandon Graham. I don't know why I'm in a hurry up. Shouldn't be in a bed doing that. I'm going to take a timeout. Okay. Slayton here. Oh, no, Slay. And David Njoku is kind of open. Yes, he is. And he is going to get quite a bit of chunky yards. I think that might put us in field goal range on 4th and 15. I might go for it if it doesn't. No, we're going to go for it here. I know that's insane to say to go for it on 4th and 15, but guys, we're on the 44. I, I don't want to I don't want to punt the ball on the 44. That is just super, super lame. So we're going to go for it here looking for Dion Brown. I, want Bing, I don't want Bingham to do that. I want him on a slant instead. And I want the halfback blocking and... Dion Brown gonna have to throw that. Is it there? No, they're gonna pick it off to whatever. It's it's the same thing. Is I mean, I guess that's probably one of the best things that could happen. Actually, Hudson is going to get the pick. I am completely okay with that. One wide receiver, but it's not a run as it's going to the tight end. He's gonna get a first down as well. Blitz just because, and that does not work out well. And he's going to get a touchdown off of that. As Clifford just walks to the wrong hole. And that's going to be Antonio Gibson for the Philadelphia touchdown. Joku here as we are back on offense. And David Njoku is open. Hit that David Njoku. That's what I'm talking about. I like to see that. I'm not punting here on our own 43 once again. I don't care what you guys say. It. I really just don't want to do that. I wish we just had a better kicker in general. And... I think that's going to be there with Austin Woodson. Thank you for holding on. First down. That's going to be a great ball. That was perfect. Else, Looking for Njoku again. And Njoku isn't going to get open, but we're going to go down. And X was wide open. I'm going to take a timeout here. And we're going to go up 13-7 against the Philadelphia Eagles as we hit that one. And now it's the Eagles' ball. Hopefully they can't score before half. Here, I'd like to run Tampa 2 instead to come down just a little bit. And oh my god, who was that that just got burnt? Nolan, what are you doing? What are you doing? That was like 8 yards of separation. I'm going to need to see a replay on that. What was that? Jalen Reger just cooked you. It's as Philadelphia is at 14-13. to 13, And I'm going to probably get sacked. Throw that. And that's, of course, going to get intercepted. I just didn't want to get safetyed. Oh, this game is turning around so badly. For some reason, I just can't play in the second half. I don't know what's up with me. Uh, seeing if he goes on a route. He doesn't. Uh, I was trying to go up the middle. My How are you just going to walk through all those players? You literally did, you did nothing. All my players just tripped over each other. This physics in this game sucks. Why is my kicker playing? Why do kickers keep playing in my slot? Young Ho Ku does this on my Wheel of Franchise series. Why is Van Dyke, my kicker, in at the slot position? And they just hurdled my offensive lineman. Oh my god. Pressure is so bad. Oh my gosh. Give me a replay. Okay, guys, looking in this replay. Hello, my name is Crawford. Yeet. What is this? This man just, he purposely, dude, my offensive lineman purposely tried to go through his legs. What was that? What was that? And then I was under pressure and Luke Sanford's like, oh yeah, you can, you can just walk right past me as I'm going to get this guy right here. That's already clearly being covered. <sighs> this game frustrates me. And then I was under pressure and then I see Luke Sanford has a step on him. So I throw it to Luke Sanford and hopes he catches it. And the safety, no, Avante Maddox is going to pick that off. 
Like, what do you want me to do about that? Like, I'm not just going to roll out and take the sack. And I wasn't even, I don't think I was out of the pocket right here. I don't think I was out of it yet. So this is just a frustrating game. Usering hatchet. And there are more slants. Finally, we get a pick. Calvin Johnson, you're doing something. Why are you so slow? Please, don't let Carson Wentz catch you. Please, pick six. Calvin Johnson, thank you for doing something. You are an edge rusher. And thank you, thank you, thank you. If I did not swerve right there, Carson Wentz would have caught you. We are back in this game. That is exactly what I needed. Heavy blitz. So I'm going to run it with Luke Sanford. And he's going to get in. Two-point conversion. 21 to 21. And I'm still going to be in coverage looking for something. And, oh my god! I swear to god. Nolan, you suck. And this is my zone. And, oof. Who was that? Jo Jonathan Jones got beat. Jalen Reger is tearing us up. I'm sure it, I'm sure it's a run. Come on, it is. No, it's play action. It's still it's okay. Come on, step up on I'm trying to switch on so I can step up and pick it. Please let me switch on. And I'm sending another blitz. And it's going to be a run play again. We're gonna shut him down again. Please, I need Godwin to get a tackle for a loss so we can get Stardev. I don't think I'm going to be able to get Clifford's challenge today, but I need, I need Godwin's. Looking for Woodson. That is going to be my first read, and he is there. No, why did you throw it like that? Why did you? Ugh. Ugh. Chase Samuels, I know you're on the run. I know you're a low overall QB, but that was by far the worst overthrown pass you could have thrown, especially in a situation like this. And I swear to God, Nolan is horrible against Jalen right here. Doing god-awful. Another blitz, because that is all that we can do on this goal line. Covering Jalen Reger here. Uh, no, oh, Sean Jeffrey is going to get the slant. Why can we not get pressure when I'm sending a blitz? Listen, please tell me you can actually beat Darius Slay here. No, Njoku is open. Catch that on the sideline. David Njoku, thank you very much. Dion Brown, this dagger play doesn't always work. It's honestly not that great. I'm going to go to the check down here. David Njoku going to get another first down as he is tearing it up. First, first time as a Brooklyn Bull. Lance. Uh, I'm going to roll out here. Please, David Njoku, block someone. Thank you. Uh, Austin Woodson could be open here. Oh, my God. For the love of God, please throw it in front of the receiver. That is your fifth pick. That is your fifth pick pick Chase Samuels oh uh, he's still the better quarterback but <sighs> throw it in front of the receiver I don't know what to do with this team man other than wait for the draft and free agency I, oh my god I just worked the tackle too some of you guys may be saying oh start tanking start tanking but if I started tanking the series wouldn't be interesting and nobody would watch the remaining episodes that are in the series because they're just like, oh, he's just going to lose on purpose just to do it. There are some occasions where I can win. Uh, I don't want to purposely tank. I will probably trade up in the draft if I have to. But uh, yeah, this team still isn't figured out, especially this defense, especially the quarterback position. Carson Wentz, light him up. Who is that, Jones? Yeah, Jonathan Jones. Sending blitz because I don't really care at this point. And please, no, it's play action. Please get in there for the sack. Thank you. Cody Douglas in there for the sack. I need Godwin. No, I'm going to try to get as... I'm just going to constantly be sending a blitz to try and get Godwin in there. I, I literally just need Godwin to get in there is what I need. Godwin in general, just to get in there. Please. Another slant. Fine. Sending everything here. Trying to get it in. Godwin. No, that's Tony Bynes. No. I was hoping that was Godwin. Tony Bynes, please stop stealing the show. I know you're great, but come on. I'm going to come away with the loss. They had a lot more than 150 passing yards. I don't think Kevin Clifford is going to get his breakout challenge, and I don't think Godwin's going to get it either because he, for some reason, decided not to turn it on today, but Tony Bynes did. Boys, we're going to look into the breakout challenges. What about Matthew Godwin? 
and he says it's a humbling experience. Dude, you literally had to get one tackle for a loss. Tony Bynes had one. I think he had a sack as well. The other one, quiet game, and neither of them get their breakout challenge. Disappointment. Still, the trades were good. I'm going to simulate to the next week to see if we can beat the Saints. Well, not well. we are going to be playing them the next week. I, I played too much Madden simulation. Another breakout challenge. Thank you. Players ready to negotiate on Negotiate and Joku. And, um, yeah, De just disappointing. Disappointed in this team overall. And the draft is what we're going to have to rely on. I honestly didn't think we had uh, a lot of cap than we had before. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed me absolutely raging. Chase Samuels threw five picks. You know, let's see in free agency if there's a better quarterback. I don't even care at this point at developing developing any quarterback is Colin Kaepernick here Ryan Fitzmagic is here you know what boys Ryan Fitzmagic is going to be the QB I don't, I don't care oh Taysom Hill Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that caught my eye Ooh. okay throw power is not there but speed we're signing them both we're signing them both definitely I kind of want to see if I can trade them away, actually. Well, one of them, such as Dorian DeMarco. I'm going to put Fitzmagic. And if we put Taysom Hill at fullback, I could do that. I'm going to try to trade away Ch Samuels with Dorian DeMarco. One of the two. Oh, I can't. So the trade deadline is actually here. So... Dorian DeMarco, goodbye. You're out of here. I'm done with you. Taysom Hill, hello. I'm going to start Taysom Hill. <laughs> so, uh, quarterback situation. Yes, we change it every week. I could move him to fullback. He would be an 83 overall, if I do recall. He only has 89 speed now. He used to have 90. Fitzmagic, how much speed do you have? 70. We're going we're gonna to try these guys. Act Ooh, wow. He has really good accuracy, actually. Fitzmagic has really good accuracy. No throw power. Chase Samuels has more throw power, but his accuracy is kind of the same, actually. And uh, it's actually similar to Fitzmagic's. And Taysom Hill. It's not very similar at all, but he has speed. So we're going to try Taysom Hill next week, guys. Changing up QBs every week. We just we just got to get through the season, boys. That's just that's just the hard truth. Oh, Cody Douglas's um, trait has been revealed as it is star, and none of the other ones have been revealed yet. Pretty sure Kevin Clifford's is star, but uh, yeah. How many away till Austin Woodson gets it? Mm, wow, he has quite a bit of ways. I thought it would be a lot less. And Marco Bingham does too. So it's going to be a few more games. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next one.